are actually here at Wayside because our community really has a need for food right now. Um, folks need food all the time. Um, people need help with it. But COVID has absolutely exacerbated the problem. We recognized really early on in the crisis that food was going to be a big need. And uh, we launched our um, COVID relief fund in March and raised over $700,000 that we ended up um, giving out to organizations throughout the community. In the end, there were about 50 organizations that received funding um, through three rounds of funding just from generous community members. And those funds went toward people to support people who are really on the edge. Um, either folks who are currently homeless or close to homelessness. And food insecurity was a huge priority for the volunteers who made those funding decisions. And food programs received a lot of that $700,000. for the last five years has been working, or four years, has been working on Thrive 2027, which is our community's 10-year commitment to improving conditions for all of us in Greater Portland. And um, the funds that we raise in our annual campaign, which is happening right now, go to fund those three priority areas, which are making sure that kids have a strong start in life and making sure that families can thrive, not just survive, and also making sure that all of us can live longer, healthier lives. Yeah, so we uh, partner with about 62 other agencies throughout Cumberland County, and all of this food that's being collected today will be redistributed uh, throughout multiple agencies, food pantries, soup kitchens, and other agencies throughout Cumberland County. We're doing, um, we are doing prepared meals, but we're putting them in to-go containers, and we're doing a drive-through service. Very similar to this, but we're giving out the food instead of taking the food. So we have multiple locations throughout Portland, Westbrook, and South Portland. And um, we're doing, um, like I said, the pick up to go meals. We're accepting volunteers. Um, we had it limited, of course, through the, uh, through the summer when things were really bad. And uh, we had obviously age limits and, and everything. But um, the, uh, the kind of the whole dynamic of our agency changed this, this uh, summer because a lot of our volunteers are retired and older folks. Um, but we were fortunate enough to tap into the uh, restaurant workers this summer. So we had a whole slew of restaurant workers in here volunteering. Um, but we have a lot of our, um, of our retired folks are back. And, um, and yeah, we can, um, we're, we're accepting um, volunteers. Well, we have Hannaford who's here right now unloading this giant truck. We've got L.L. Bean, we've got an awesome boot over here, and they have donated so much. Barry Dunn did a huge food drive. TD put this out to all of their employees all in the area. We've seen so many companies, Wright Ryan, and just um, CCB, so many companies have come out today, and we're so grateful for their efforts. You know, Hannaford has a, a wide and varied footprint, and we are part of the fabric of the communities that we're in. And so we're always looking for ways to, to connect and give back to those communities. So the, we had a competition between Hannaford and Retail Business Services. And unfortunately, it looks like uh, Retail Business Services did not win. But the good news is that um, either way, we donated a ton of food and we'll have an extra $10,000 donation to the United Way this year with our campaign on behalf of Hannaford Brothers for the associates who contributed. We were in the, we're in the vicinity of, uh, I wanna say 12 to 14 pallets of food. Even 16 maybe pallets, even 16 pallets of food. So um, not a small amount of food, um, but in the end it's, it's about, you know, like, how did we do it? We just, you know, we, we put the word out to associates. I am dropping off uh, some food that our financial centers had gathered uh, and they built, you know, structures and things. So 
They did a great job. My car is uh, weighed down pretty good. <laughs> We're working remote um, and the financial centers, you know, with everything kind of changed in our world that we're living in, um, they wanted to do something and we're so limited on things that we can do. So this was something they could do at the financial centers and they did an awesome job um, and they just wanted to really give back. And besides bringing food here today, how can people make a difference in the community right now? Well, we hope that they will come to unitedwaygp.org and find out if they would like to get involved by giving, and it's our annual campaign time, and we will put those donations to great use in our community. Or they can find opportunities to volunteer. Even though we're socially distanced and we're wearing masks, there are still lots of organizations that need volunteers, and you can find those on our website. And of course, there's always opportunity for advocacy. And right now there's a lot of public policy going on um, and we want people to be involved with it to help our community um, rebound from these challenges so that we can have a much more strong and resilient future for all of us in Cumberland County.